A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del vídeo. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. May the Lord bless you and as every morning I'm giving you a welcome and greetings. Uh, we're going to be going very, very happy from Guatemala. Um, it is uh, very incredible and we have been blessed and joyful and very grateful with the people and the Lord because we have spent days that are unforgettable. On top of that, I want to give uh, thanks uh, to all of the radio and TV stations of Guatemala that are uh, sharing and putting our, all our devotionals every day. Thank you to all the directors and all of the ones that work in those uh, channels of radio and TV. Thank you to all who have made possible this second year here in Guatemala. Under the theme, we continue moving forward. To all the organizers and all the, the brethren that came from other countries, from Mexico, Costa Rica, Chile, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, etc. It is truly have been a privilege been able to be with all of you enjoying and knowing each other and praising the Lord together and learning his word. It is really a pleasure and we are going very happy and we desire to come back as soon as possible. The devotional today is going to take us to Matthew, specifically chapter 16, verse 25. And the word of the Lord says the following, words from our Lord Jesus Christ, for whomever desires to save his life will lose it, But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Have you paid attention? Have you realized that the, the clinging that people have and fight with nails and teeth to maintain their money, to save their life, their positions, every day working, working from one side to the other, to buy things or to maintain the things that we have or to pay debts or to be thinking in new things because the ones that we have now uh, are not used and we want more and more and more. My dear brethren, it is very dangerous when there is believers that go into that game, diabolic game, that the only thing that produces is dissatisfaction because The emptiness of your heart can never be filled. It doesn't matter how many clothes or trips or business that you do if Christ is not in your heart. Everything that you have, little or more, it doesn't serve you for anything, for the other life, because don't forget and remember well that we are here passing through. It doesn't matter how many years we have been living here. Sooner or later, we'll have to leave. And this is when we will face... Uh, to the real reality that there is an eternal life that exists and we have to render an account to the creator, to the just judge of the earth. Therefore, if you have to lose your time and waste your time and things to please God, well, my dear brethren, do not make, that's not a problem because everything that you leave behind or lose to honor and serve and to glorify the Lord, believe me, that is worth it. The effort of the human being, unfortunately, just goes around material things. And there is a, a phrase that says, do you have this? That's much at you worse. And that's a lie. And a lot have believed that. Because remember Apostle Paul's uh, words when he tells Timothy in Ephesus that the root of all evil is the love of money. Because of the love of money, because of material things, Wars have happened, crimes, injustices, things that are terrible. And we for, and forget that we are here passing through. To fulfill with a purpose that is eternal, to fulfill with the objectives that divine, that have been designed probably for each one of us before the foundation of the world. So if you have to let something out or lose something from your point of view, for the glory of the Lord and for the Lord, do not have any problem with that because there is a marvelous promise that I want to remind all of you today that the Lord Jesus Christ said that if 
anybody wants to lose mother, father, house, inheritance because of the kingdom of God, don't worry because the Lord is going to give you a hundred percent fold in this life and in the other life, the eternal life. Sometimes in order to win, you have to lose, but lose things that are worthless, but they are a weight that is unnecessary, that are stealing time, money, energy, are distracting us and entertaining us, but they're not really things that are essential to please God and also for life itself. So therefore, ask yourself in this moment, what are you doing with your life? Are you really doing the will of God in your life? Or are you simply a person that is living the life and one day pass and two days and you don't even know what you have to do, what you have to study, what you have to uh, immediately to leave behind? If somebody has lack of wisdom, let's ask the Lord who will give you abundantly. But ask with faith without doubting anything and the Lord is going to show you don't have the slightest doubt to what you have to do what you have to leave behind right now the friends that you have to maintain and the environments or the toxic people the only thing that comes to your life is to stop your spiritual growth and to stop that you will continue advancing in the Lord so I uh, encourage all of you Wherever you are, reflect and meditate. What are we doing with our lives? Today, are we going to work or study like any other day? But you have to make a stop in the way and say, Lord, help me to do your will, to be a good father, a good mother, a good shepherd, a good pastor, to be a servant of God, to not waste time, my uh, faculties, as a human being, my family, my resources, spiritually or economically, or any other kind, in things that are no use. Take advantage of the time, my dear brethren, and may the Lord help us to each one to honor and glorify the Lord, which is the best life that we can live. Well, we're going to pray together as it is our, our custom, asking him for his blessing, that he will give us a good day, that he will keep us from all danger and evil, and that at the end of the day, we can go to bed with the satisfaction to say, Lord, today I have pleased you and I have done your will. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you, my Lord, for the privilege that you give us in these days to be here in this beautiful country with these beautiful people of Guatemala and other nations that have made a great effort to come and be with us. Lord, we bless them. Thank you for all of the collaborators and all of the brethren that gave their time and money and their life so that this Congress will be a success as it has been. Lord, we are living filled with desires to come back. And I ask you to bless my dear brethren and all of those who are listening and watching this devotional wherever they are. Help us, bless us, Lord, and keep us as always from all dangers and all evil. And we put our lives in your hands with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for being with us during this time and all who support us in prayer and all who follow the retransmission live or and later. We have one channel that is called Centro Evangelico Vedanova on YouTube and a face on Facebook with the same name. We are here to serve you and to support each other and to cover our backs in prayer. May the Lord bless you and I wish you have a good day to everyone.